We ordered a vegan bits and bites charcuterie board for two people for the last day we Here. stayed at Spruce Hollow Geodesic Dome at Elk Island Retreat. It cost 135 Canadian dollars for the board before tax. The boards were prepared and delivered right to Spruce Hollow Geodesic Dome by Oman Collected. Want to see our tour of the romantic Spruce Hollow Geodesic Dome? Click on the link on the top right of this video to see that tour. Now let's get into what you get with purchasing the board in our food review. Welcome to Redoing Life, a channel that encourages and empowers you to recognize you are the agent of change in your life and to start changing. We were supposed to get an aperitif to start the meal, however it was forgotten and that was no problem as I wasn't a big fan of the aperitif served in our first charcuterie board. A generic menu explaining the items on the board. I say generic as some food items change on the board. Charcuterie board good for 2-3 to three people with serving utensils. Drink as per your choice. And a complimentary artisanal product from Oman Collected. We got the vegan charcuterie board with sparkling juice. This was our first time ever eating a vegan charcuterie board. The focaccia bread. It does have a little bit of gluten in it, but what I like about it is, is that on the outside here, it's crunchy, but the inside is so soft. It's got really great flavor. Okay, so I'm going to try some of this hummus. The hummus looks very smooth just from looking at it. So here's the hummus, and it looks very smooth compared to a lot of other hummuses that we've had. In terms of texture for the hummus, it's really smooth. I mean, hummus is hummus. Maybe I didn't mix it. I had some oil on the edge here. I should have mixed it. Okay, so here we have some sort of like breadstick and it just has great crunch and great flavor to it. A herbic garlic cheese on focaccia bread. Mm, the garlic really comes through very well. I think this is almost like a cashew based vegan cheese. Very herby. Tastes fantastic on the focaccia bread. The focaccia bread plus the cheese has great texture together because the cheese itself is very smooth. You get that crunch of the outer layer of the focaccia and the insides of the focaccia is very soft. Here we have slices of peach and they are quite sweet. Yeah, they're very sweet. They taste really good. Almond cassava cracker. And this was a savory salty biscuit. It has good crunch on it. So here you can you can listen to the crunch. Indian pickle lemon mangoes. According to Omam Collected, they said that this has a little bit of kick. So it does have a little bit of kick to it, but it's like a, a spicy flavor kick. It's slight salty. Soy cheddar vegan cheese. It's a little softer than regular cheddar cheese. It is a strong cheddar cheese taste. Zucchini salad with sesame oil and peanut brittle. Sesame oil is a pretty strong flavor and it's good that it's not super strong in this. For me, it's okay. I think it's one of those ones where it's like a really good balance with all the other ones throughout here. A sweet potato cracker. And I love these because they're like sweet and savory and nice and crunchy. Honey mustard. These are actually the mustard seeds itself. And I find this to be very delightful, very delicious. I love eating it with the crackers. Balsamic olive beet. And I love that they're shredded like this. They look like chips, but they're actually like floppy. It's got good flavor with that balsamic. Like it's not crazy strong balsamic. It's just a hint of it. I love the taste of beets. Just make sure if you're wearing white, don't accidentally stain your white shirt with this. For dried apple slices and they're actually nice and crunchy. For the vegan board, we're eating this fresh because you know, we were told to eat it fresh. It tastes better. Everything on here is edible. Even the flowers you can eat, the little herbs that are throughout, you can eat those cashew cream vegan cheese it's very smooth it's got a nice smoky flavor and it's like one of those cheeses that you could spread on breads wild cucumber and this is pickled and typically pickled stuff is quite salty but this was more towards the sweet side a little bit of saltiness pickled turnip and this one's typically salty it's not my favorite one. Oh my gosh yeah that's more on the salty side yep a lemon olive and this one's more saltier today yeah this one's not my favorite you do get a little bit of a refreshing taste of lemon but it's very salty this one we have a walnut and red pepper dip when i tasted this earlier this is such a good savory dip for this whole board i just love the flavor I'm vegan dark chocolate here and it has cardamom in it it tastes really good it has a little bit of a coffee taste grapefruit it tastes pretty sweet it's an apple pear organic sparkling juice made in France and it's organic. So no added sugar, it's non-alcoholic, naturally gluten-free. So it tastes like a really, really good apple juice. And it's got a bit of that fizz. Uh, with the hint of, I guess it's stronger than just a hint of uh, pear. Once again, as part of our order, we were gifted an item courtesy of Oman Collected. Another lovely crafted fork. Check out our video on touring the beautifully crafted Aspen Yard and the meat and cheese charcuterie board that we had on our first day at the end of this video. Want more info on us comparing our experiences between the Yurt and Geodome? Check out our blog article here or in the video description below.